Thanks, Amelia. It's 602. Missouri Governor Mike Parson says the state will move forward with the execution of a man who years ago abducted and killed a six-year-old girl in Valley Park. The Power of Two's Laura Simon is live outside of the St. Louis County Courthouse where a jury found Johnny Johnson guilty back in 2005. Laura? Blair and John, Johnny Johnson is set to be put to death by lethal injection tonight in Bonterre. This is a case that has haunted the St. Louis area for more than two decades after the brutal murder of six year old Casey Williamson. We want you to take a look at your screen because this is the last photo taken of Casey. It was taken 36 hours before her death. She was singing songs on a Wednesday night at church. Johnson kidnapped the little girl from her home in Valley Park on July 26, 2002. He was 24 at the time. He murdered her inside of an abandoned glass factory along the Merrimack River after she fought back against him attempting to sexually assault her. After a huge search, Casey's body was found in a pit less than a mile from her home, buried beneath rocks and debris. Last week marked the 21st anniversary of Casey Williamson's disappearance and death. The judge who sentenced Johnson in 2005 told the court it was perhaps the most heinous crime he had ever presided over. Johnson's attorneys have asked the U.S. Supreme Court to stop this execution. They also asked Governor Parson to reduce Johnson's sentence to life in prison, claiming he's mentally incompetent. A three-judge panel halted Johnson's execution last week, but the Missouri Supreme Court and Federal Appeals Court overturned that ruling, allowing the execution to move forward tonight in Bonterre. Our Mandy Murphy has interviewed Casey's mom, Angie, several times over the years, and she sat down with her recently, just last week, to talk about how Johnson tore apart her entire family and the agony for Casey's family continues to this day. My father and my brother were the ones to identify Casey's body when it happened. And following that, my brother had a complete mental breakdown. And my father drank himself to death. It was more than either one of them could process seeing Casey's little body in the, in the way he left it. You can hear that emotion in her voice all these years later. Casey's mother does plan to be in Bonterre tonight for the scheduled execution. There are also anti-death penalty protests planned as well. There's actually one happening at 3 this afternoon just outside of the Carnahan Courthouse on Tucker and Market. And that group of people will head to where the execution is happening as well. This would be the fourth execution in the state of Missouri and the 16th one nationally. Reporting live in Clayton this morning, I'm Laura Simon.